so the Independent Office of Police Conduct have recognised and acknowledged my complaint against Cambridgeshire Police. Now, I'm not really expecting in the guys. They'll obviously try and cover it up, because the first thing they've done is send it to professional standards, who employ such delightful characters as Inspector Paul Rogerson, who previously said I should have known I was being arrested because I got in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present. Um, so that'll bounce back and forth for a bit. What I am hoping to find out is why Joel, the big brave bailiff, who needs five bodyguards to come round to my house, um, actually wants. Should be quite interesting. To see why he's been posting all those little letters. Hmm. Um, maybe then he'll come back with his five um, corporate copper bodyguards, possibly. Don't know. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to go through the email I sent, but obviously it was, it was a resume of the happy half hour that we had on Saturday when psychotic police officers were battering on my door with no warrant, no paperwork, and indeed no apparent reason to be there. Um, except one of them seeming to think he was my mate. Don't know. It's quite near the beginning, that bit. Paul, mate! Is the police here? Can you open the door? Uh, no. I'd rather be set on fire and run through with bamboo sticks than be friends with a policeman. You fucking Nazi prick. Um, and the reason... I've just been texting a mate of mine. The reason the door doesn't get open now, because it has been before, as we all know, if you go back through the channel, uh, is because they lied about not needing a warrant. And as I recall after that, when it got to Crown Court, the CPS then changed the charges because they, they changed the charges to one that didn't need a warrant and they had a nice little cosy chat with um, Judge Enright and they were obviously all best mates so yeah, you know, they've just lied and lied and lied about everything and serious questions I feel have to be asked about the behaviour of those officers on Saturday because they were wildly out of fucking control um, but there you go, I suppose, you know Children always go in a strop when they don't get what they want, don't they? So because I didn't open the door, they were banging more and more and more and ringing the doorbell more and more and more. You thought after 25 minutes or 20 minutes, they might have got the hint that it wasn't going to get opened. But they're obviously not that bright. And off they toddled in their van. So it was an arrest attempt, because they had the van. Otherwise, they'd bring a car. Didn't see a car. Just sort of that. Um, well, what was quite funny, what I haven't mentioned before, was Big Brave Joel, who needs five corporate copper bodyguards. Um, he actually drove around the front of the house and then pulled pulled to um, the end of a grass bit we have there and parked up for a couple of minutes. He obviously thought he was going to outdo the coppers on that one. You know, hoping I'd just walk out the door then or something. <laughs> But I knew he was there, because one of the neighbours had come out to the bin and he'd looked across the front of the house, and I thought, there's someone else still there, isn't there? Um, yeah, wow. Now the dust has settled. Um, I mean, all you had to do, Cambridge Police, was investigate 25 years worth of theft from the public purse, committed by former hunting and district council employees. And orchestrated by John Major, which you've known about for at least six years. But time and time and time and time again, you've said there's nothing wrong, even though the money's not in the accounts. You know, all these cash payments just disappearing. Nothing untoward there, is there? <laughs> uh, well, I think that's a shining light of your career there, Chief Constable Nick Nazi Dean. Your officers are completely out of fucking control and they're going around threatening people without any fucking paperwork whatsoever. I hope you enjoy the letter, mate. <laughs>